I just want to preface this video by saying I made this video back in 2019 for one of my other channels. And since this is a dedicated gaming channel, I thought a remastered version of this video belonged here. I feel like everything I bring up in this video still correlates to today. So without further ado, let's get into this video. MVP Baseball 2005 is a classic among many video game baseball fans. MVP Baseball 05 has always left us fans with a what could have been taste in our mouths. Ever since EA gave up the rights to make a baseball game, San Diego Studios, the makers of MLB The Show, have pretty much had a monopoly on their hands when it comes to baseball video games. 2K Baseball did stay around a while, but eventually got thrown to the wayside like every other baseball game other than MLB The Show. I need to preface all this before I get into this video because we're going to be taking a look at MVP Baseball 05 and see how it holds up in 2019. First of all, this game is 14 years old now, and yes, I know the graphics aren't great compared to today's standards, but they weren't bad for 2005, so we just have to overlook that right now. I'd even argue that some of the player models in this game can actually look pretty good at certain times. With that said, we will be focusing on the gameplay experience and features of the game and see how it does against sports games of today. Right off the bat, we are going to start with the pitching in this game. Pitching in newer games like MLB The Show can be a lot more complicated and more of a challenge. MLB The Show also gives you a few different ways to pitch, where MVP just allows you to pitch with the pitching meter. Overall, MVP still has really good pitching mechanics, and they are really easy to pick up still to this day. You could even get your dad or your grandpa probably to play MVP with you and they'd be able to figure out how to pitch, where MLB, I'm sure they could do it, but it may take a little bit longer. I also quickly wanted to touch on how precise the umpires are in this game when it comes to the strike zone. It is crazy particular. You have to hit the strike zone or it will not be a strike, compared to MLB The Show where you might get a call or two outside the zone with different umpires. The opposing CPU batters have the best eye ever when it comes to the strike zone. No one ever goes fishing for a ball outside the zone and that is kind of annoying. It annoyed me when I was a kid and it still annoys me now to this day. No doubt one of the most fun things to do in this game is being able to go out and calmly talk to an umpire or go completely bonkers and scream and yell at the umpire. The best part about the arguing system in this game is it allows you, the player, to run out there and argue about whatever you would like. Now onto the hitting in this game. You have to be ready to swing so quick compared to MLB The Show. I really struggled with trying to get reacquainted with this game and its hitting mechanics, but once you start getting the hang of the hitting in this game, the hitting is truly enjoyable. I especially like the hitter's eye mechanic in the game. I like how you are able to see what is coming your way by a certain color of the ball. Is it kind of cheating? Of course it is. But that's what makes it a lot more fun when you're playing by yourself and you just want to get hits. You can turn it off when you're playing with a friend and it's no issue at all. Another cool thing you can do while you're hitting is you can move side to side in the box and anticipate the pitch that is coming. That is a mechanic that is really cool and I would like to see it replicated in an MLB The Show game. To round out the hitting, the ability to control what you're trying to do with the pitch is a lot of fun. I like pushing up for power, side for line drives to the left or right field, and down for ground balls compared to the mechanic of MLB The Show where you gotta hit square for power, X for normal swing, or circle for contact swing. The base running in this game is super simple and it is way easier to pick up compared to MLB The Show. In MVP, all you need is the right analog stick to lead off and the D-pad to pick which base you want to steal or run to if someone gets a hit. Probably my favorite part of the game that I totally forgot about is how you can actually take people out at second base to break up double play. Now the fielding in this game is pretty good. There are times you make plays in this game, plays that you would not make in MLB The Show and it's a lot of fun, but other times your player may just whiff on an easy ball and it is incredibly annoying. I know fielding has always been a challenge for most baseball games, but MVP did a really good job with it, especially a game that came out in 2005. With that said, the fielding has aged just a little bit to me here and there. You can tell that the fielding mechanics are not the newest of new. They've just aged a bit. I will just say it now, home run derby in this game sucks so much. I hated it back in 2005 and I still hate it now. I can't stand the split screen thing that they do in this game. I even hate how it's not a real home run derby and it's based on distance. It will be the show definitely did way better in the home run derby department. With that said, the hitting practice in MVP is so much fun. I can't even tell you how many times I've done the hitting practice over the years. I love how you get points and progress throughout the rounds and the silly ramps, vortexes, and tractors that are spread out throughout the field during the hitting practice. All the stuff makes for such a fun experience. MVP Baseball also has a pitching mini game 
but I can't say I've spent too much time playing this. It's really not all that fun to me. I remember playing it years ago, but I haven't touched it, and I would say in over a decade or so. Overall, the mini games in this game are really great and very creative and well thought out for a game that is 14 years old. The final thing I have to talk about in this game is the Dynasty mode. It is very similar to the franchise mode in MLB The Show. The only real difference between the two is the draft is a tad slower and it's only a one player experience, which drove me nuts as a kid. My friend and I always wanted a draft when we were younger, but we couldn't because it's only set up as a single player experience. With that said though, it is a well thought out dynasty mode with a triple A, a double A, and single A teams, along with being able to see if players are happy or not while they're on your team. I can't finish this video without talking about some of my favorite things in this game. All the stadiums, jerseys, and players you can unlock in this game are seriously so awesome. The legendary players are really cool to play as, but playing in some of these old ballparks that we have never seen in another video game are seriously so cool. Finally, the announcing in this game is a tad repetitive, but Mike Kruko and Dwayne Kuyper do an amazing job in this game, and there's still some great quotes in this game that I remember to this day. This guy is just terrible. This guy puts all his weight behind the pitches, and that is saying something. Overall, this game may have came out in 2005, but it is still a trendsetter here in 2019. This game has stood the test of time and probably will continue to do so until another company comes along and pushes MLB The Show to actually improve their game. It is jam-packed with features and stuff to do. It is really hard to get bored in this game. MVP will always be one of the best baseball games to ever come out. It pushed the boundaries for what a baseball game could do in 2005 and it continues to show us what could have been. I can easily say that MVP 05 holds up in the year 2019 and probably for many years to come. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. Make sure to let me know if you think MVP 05 still holds up in 2019. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day.